What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We're live to both with new Wind Witch cards coming out. I have not got to read them. This is going to be a live reaction. But what is certain is that right now, Wind Witches are moving on the market before the translations were even out on the org. You can see listings disappearing before your eyes for the Hollow Out version. So I assume they're pretty good. Translations went up on Reddit a little bit ago. But let's get into these brand new cards. We already know what Wind Witches can do with just three three as their engine but it became a little outdated over time i'm gonna get to the card reaction uh page here let's do this and ironically in blazing vortex so this is maybe the vortex part of it the poor poor volcanic support as we go on the wind continues to blow out of blazing vortex we start with wind witch blizzard bell this is a wind spellcaster tuner effect level five attack and defense are both 1800 each that's interesting 1818 18, it's a tuner but we know this usually locks so if you're already freaking out how key fibrax and you haven't read them before wait a little bit if you control no monsters or all monsters you control are wind witch monsters you can normal summon this card without tributing that doesn't seem like the best. Let's see the payoff. During your opponent's main phase, if you control a Wind Witch monster other than Blizzard Bell Quick Effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to inflict 500 damage. I mean, it's a level 5, which is nice, but uh, normal summon, that that's like past the whole point of what this deck does. It goes special, and then it goes bleh, and then it like goes places. This, this doesn't necessarily seem like it's adding anything but burn win con at 500 i'm i'm not a big fan of this first one but we'll see where this pans out we've got wind witch freeze bell uh a new little you know partner in which to go with the others and it's a level three attack and defense are 1200 each you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn if all monsters you control are wind witch monsters minimum one you can special summon this card from your hand. So there we go. That's what Wind Witches tend to do. You're able to continue up your lines of play, special summon them out. And then we are, once per turn, you can increase this card's level by one. So level modulation to get into your synchro or overlay plays. A wind synchro monster that was special summoned using this card as a material cannot be destroyed by battle. Huh. So extra protection for this being a three it's self special summons and you're gonna give battle protection on top of what the wind witch engine already does okay so in the past you have the crystal wing that could be not now you can combine those that's that's interesting that's pretty good I like where that's headed. That you're you're still focusing on boss monster Yu-Gi-Oh, so where something like a kaiju could take care of it, which is being played to you know deal with your goons. You're giving like ultimate armor, and it's an extender on top that gets itself out of the hand. This also notably doesn't do any locking. It rewards a wind synchro monster, but it doesn't lock you into any position with wind like the old wind witches. A little more free and extra advantages. Okay, that's that's noted. And it's not a tuner, so it works even better with, like, the old school ones. All right, Diamond Bell, Wind Witch Diamond Bell, is a Wind Spellcaster Synchro Effect Level 8. Maybe a reason to replace Crystal Wing? Let's find out. It takes one tuner plus one not plus, so one or more, non-tuner Wind Monsters. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target a Wind Witch monster in your graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its attack. You can get some sizable ones in the graveyard, I suppose. And it doesn't say besides itself, so 1400. Uh, you're not going to do the burn wind con. You're, you're trying to build boss monsters easily. Once per turn, if your opponent takes battle or effect damage, ooh, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. This effect can be used up to twice per turn if this was Synchro Summoned using Wind Witch Monsters. Okay, now that burn gets a little more interesting. Synchro Summon, you're able to target one Inflict. Then once per turn, if you do battle or effect damage, so you do effect damage initially, popping one thing, battle damage later, popping another thing. I still don't think it justifies playing over a Negate that gets big, like, 
I don't think you pour your resources here, but it's a nice flex option that might seal games by the damage you're already doing with the Crystal Wing beat over and the other stuff. It's an option, at least, but I don't know about that one. Still a tool. Like, but yeah, sorry, two pops isn't enough in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! with a little bit of burn damage. Bell Chime of the Wind Witch. Normal spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You cannot special summon monsters that turn you activated this card, except wind monsters. There's some choking out restrictions. Target one wind, wind witch monster you control. Special summon a wind witch monster with a different name from your deck in defense position. Boy, are we going places all of a sudden. Wow, we are reaching new levels. That's pretty nice. So... This one offers level modulation to go to four. You combine it with the three, and then you combine it with the one, and you're able to, oh, just get it out of the deck, and its effects aren't negated or anything. The engine just got a lot stronger. That engine just got more refined, more consistent, which is why you didn't play it. You see the bricks instead of the good pieces. Now, if you have one, you have two. Like, like it's getting a lot stronger. Finally, we got Ice Winds Reframe, a normal trap card. You can activate one card with this card's name per turn. Activate one of these effects. You target one Wind Witch monster in your graveyard, special summon in defense position. When your opponent activates a card or effect in response to the activation of your Wind Witch monster effects, you can negate that opponent's effect. This isn't a continuous. I would have liked to see it be a continuous or something like that because then it would give you a reward to play the big boss monster that's on here rather than Crystal Wing to back it up with a negate on top of the double pops. But even then, I think you're playing Crystal Wing. Overall, let's let's think about this. I don't think you're going to be playing Blizzard Bell. Uh, a normal summon is not where you want to be heading even with the five. But I do like the new level three and I like the new spell. And now, now it is a lot more understandable why these are going off the market. Let's go ahead and talk about these real quick. So Glass Spell is a tuner, but kind of becomes unnecessary at this point when we look at it although uh, yeah you still search the level one in situations and it strengthens your engine i suppose i i wouldn't say unnecessary but what you want to set up is snowbell as your tuner and then you want to set up the good old ice spell which also gets you a special summon from deck and then on top of it get the brand new one to level up with and you create a can't be destroyed by battle and then a can't be destroyed by card effect if i'm not mistaken crystal wing that has a negate that that's how it works right it cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects yes so if you set that up with snowbell you level up there's the play is it enough with the search ability it's an engine that locks you into wins I guess speedroids have become stronger. I don't know that this takes any deck to the next level yet, but it takes this engine to the next level. I don't know if it burst it out even past like tier two into the rogue category. Like, where does this land? Chat, what do you guys think? And open chat if you have any ideas on this off the top of your head. Glass Bell can search that new three. Yeah, but what you want to uh, kind of do, I would feel, is Ice Spell, and you can special summon a Wind Witch from deck. You can just special summon it and level modulate. What's good? E, best emote. Yep, we have a new E emote. If you haven't noticed the E's in chat with people going crazy, as well as the sell up that helped for this video to happen live. Crystal Wing could, wouldn't be able to get both battle and targeting possessions as it's required a non tuner synchro. Uh, you ever do a video? And, or find a card and you think you're big brain and then you find out what you're attempting to think about or do just can't happen the whole time you're thinking about it and then you get caught live on stream instead of in the comment sections about the restrictions that you need a tuner plus one or more non-tuner synchro monster chat well played the gg no re we're, uh, yeah, don't worry, I'm a big dumb too. You only get one or the other, you're correct. So, you gotta choose the routes you're heading. You gotta choose them. Can't be killed by battle. It already kind of has some battle protection, but I, I feel like you would take the card effects usually, right? Like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, the wind mod it's still a big boost to the engine, but I feel like there's clunkiness and problems, and I don't know about the next level, but we'll see what comes out. Sad E, oof, dude. You know what? 
I hope people do watch the whole video instead of running off with the idea. But that happens. That happens so much. You read a card, I can do this in Yu-Gi-Oh! And no. No, you can't do that. Battle phase new meta. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation. And me missing the whole point on what you can do with this. And my, my mind is burning on these, but man. Man. It got stronger, but is it worth it? I don't I don't know that it's worth it, and I don't know that people should be throwing their money at the screen just because support got announced, but maybe there's more support. Maybe it'll be more than just the five cards. We'll wait and see.